Yesterday's special election was extra special for Democrat Annette Tadeo, who pulled off a four-point win over Republican Jose Felix Diaz. Tonight, we're hearing from the newly elected state senator. CBS 4's Hank Tester talked to Tadeo. He's live at Miami-Dade headquarters, election headquarters in Doral. Hank? Uh, Elliot, she's very happy about all this, and during the campaign, she linked her opponent to Donald Trump. She hit hard on the health care issue, and she got big help from Joe Biden. I sat down with Annette Tadeo. After all these years, she is finally a winner. Let's take a look. It's never been easy for Democrat Annette Tadeo, being a winning politician elusive. She's never won in local or statewide races. The last losing effort? running mate for gubernatorial candidate Charlie Crest. But now, she is a winner, defeating Republican State Representative Jose Felix Diaz in a hard-fought state Senate campaign. I just kept saying, I can't believe it, I can't believe it, and um, very exciting, very exciting, but at the same time, very humbling. But you ran against Donald Trump. <laughs> I mean, and, and people across the country are looking at this going, hmm, very interesting. It, it, we, we did and we didn't. We did because obviously there are clear differences in nastiness. It is not okay um, to demean people, uh, to say things that are demeaning of minorities or of women. Um, we also ran uh, against the fact that instead of working with each other to make health care better, um, they want to take it away. Today will be one of six. 16 Democrats in the state Senate, 23 Republicans, says she's willing to work across the aisle and on her agenda. So what's the first piece of legislation <laughs> that you're going to introduce? Um, I am going to introduce uh, freezing uh, money going from public schools to for-profit charter schools. I think that we need to stop that. Well, you'll remember how tough that campaign was, but Tadeo says she and her opponent are going to be friends. She kind of likes him. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News. Back to well, you.